it's late Monday, uh, September 13th, late. <laughs> today I was given kind of a reprieve. I didn't have to do baby watch today, which was kind of freaky. What's expected of me tomorrow or the day after? I mean, I, I kind of like to know so that I can set my own pace and what I have to do around here. Like I have to do some laundry. And that takes a little bit of time. I need to know where to fit it in. That kind of stuff. Brian's trying to get the schedule down. Pat, he's a schedule guy. He plans stuff. And um, so far, it's working. Baby's a very well-behaved baby. He does not have colic. He's quiet. Unless he really has something to say. He's a sweetheart. What a sweet baby. And uh, he talks with his hands, not American Sign Language, but he, you can see him, he goes, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> so you know he's talking, like, eh, 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 but I kiddingly said, eh, power to the people. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's a, he's a good baby. You're very lucky that he's not messed up, <laughs> you know, because that'd be even more work to do. It was a pleasant day today. It's supposed to be cool, a little bit cooler the next couple days that I know of, and uh, that'll be pleasant. Tomorrow, the Tuesday, I'm not sure what's going to happen. If I don't have to, oops, sorry about that. If I don't have to be on baby watch, I'm going to be repairing couple things. Uh, I had a bar stool chair that I put up to the keyboard, but it sat up too high, so I cut off this much of the legs. Then it was too low. <laughs> then I put a little 1x4 wood on the bottom and two little and little wheels, inexpensive wheels. I thought, oh, that'd be cool to sit on. I can move around. The wheels broke get what you pay for. So now I have two by fours that I have cut to the length and uh, dug out where the legs are going to fit into and have the holes drilled and stuff so that all I have to do is put it together. And we'll see if it's too high or too low. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I made a bunch of bacon. I made a bunch of pancakes this morning so that in the morning all I have to do is grab two pancakes, a couple pieces of bacon and make my coffee. I like doing that. It works. Like for supper, I had fajitas. I made fajita mix, put it in a freezer bag in the freezer. I broke off a piece, heated it up, and put it with cheese in, uh, in my little tortilla, and very good. It turned out well. I have to figure out, you know, I, I don't use as much salt and sugar as other people do. The recipe is a recipe. It needs a little of this or that, or the recipe won't work. But I use less, and I have for a while. At first, it's like, eh, but after a while, that's fine, no problem. I'd rather make my own sauce because the last time I had homemade uh, store-bought sauce, I started having panic attacks. Is it due to sodium content? I don't. I had two or three panic attacks today, which I hate. My body gets all warm, flushed, and then it feels like the, everything's closing in on me, like I'm gonna, like I'm a big black hole and I'm gonna eat myself alive. It's not a very pleasant feeling. I do have medicine for that. It's a form of Valium, which they don't produce any more of this particular form. Thank you, Dr. Kisker. He gave me a script for a whole ton of them, which I have, and I didn't get rid of them. And boy, there are, t there are days when I absolutely need it. Otherwise, I would feel sick. I get nauseous, too, with the anxiety. I do feel better these days since these two teeth were pulled. Now, listen here. The dentist says that the nervous 
is dead is not dead. I can feel it. I just push on my tooth and I can feel it. But if, if it went dead, I'd pull it out myself because that would save me $200. <laughs> With these off here, it broke off to the gums. So there's, I know there's an abscess in the bone up in here and down in here. I think one on the side, maybe it was this side. That's why I feel better. And then up here. So if I have those taken care of, I'll at least feel better whether I look like witchy poo. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, Wednesday will be my whoop whoop Wednesday. I'll have a joke for you. Wednesday I also have an appointment in a massage therapist place. Brian got me a group on a special massage price thing for Mother's Day and I made an appointment. Perhaps they can no, she does uh, Swedish massage, deep tissue massage, and therapy massage. So if you have an issue like tennis elbow or shoulder or something, she can work with you, tell you what you should do or what you shouldn't do or, and uh, help you figure things out. I'm hoping that she can help me figure these out. <laughs> oh gosh, I've been talking for a while. Sorry about that. There's still plenty to do around here. But, uh, you know, when you're on and off schedule for three hours here and four hours there, on and off and on and off, it's very tiring. And Brian mumbles when he's really tired. So when, if I'm watching the baby and the baby goes, eh, and he'll, he'll get set up, he sleeps on the couch, he'll get up and, uh, start asking me questions, but I can't understand him. I'll say, everything's fine, everything's fine. Oh, now I'm starting to have a panic attack again. God, I hate that. Oh, God. I'm all flushed. I feel hot. Well, I better try to get to bed. Oh, I got a call from someone across the to in Europe today. It was late at night and he couldn't sleep. He had a really bad day, so we talked for a while. It was nice talking to him. I better go to bed now. Upward and onward.